Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is SSEM 2016 training videos and this is 11th video in this series and in this video I am going to show you how to uh, enable PXC boot on SSEM 2016 and install WDS role step by step so PXC boot is required to uh, required in deploying operating system through the network so it's uh, allow us to set up the pre pre execution boot environment uh, for the bare metal machine where it can connect to WDS server or a PXC boot server and can get the operating system image and uh, and run the task and uh, deploy those operating system whatever up, uh, like uh, applications or the operating system image is there available for the PXC uh, for the client it can be downloaded and installed on the um, you know, um, bare metal machines by using the PXC boot so we'll see how it's going to how we can con enable and configure these things and how we can use PXC boot to deploy operating system uh, on bare metal machine so PXC boot require a WDS role that's why we we are here uh, 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 to need to install the WDS role as well as when we enable a PXC boot so we'll uh, start from there and let's do do it so let's have some idea about my demo environment so I'm using the two uh, virtual machine the same virtual machine which I'm using in my last video so the first one is Wintuka 16 DC01 which is my Active Directory server my domain name is victorinfasol.com and here is my Active Directory server Active Directory DNS and DHCP role on, is running on this machine Wintuka 16 DC01 the IP address is 192.168.0.201 my domain name is victorinfossil.com and my second server is a SSCM server which is 2016 CM01 and the IP address is 192.168.0.205 and here is the uh, 24 gig of RAM to this machine and SSCM is installed so I am going to launch the SSCM configuration manager wizard here so step by step the, so the first thing um, how to enable PXC boot and install WDS step by step so install and configure WDS role on SSCM server which we are going to do first so here's the SSCM configuration win uh, manager so I'm going to minimize it now and I'm going to open my server manager on my uh, configuration manager server where I'm going to enable the PXC boot so I'm going to click on add manage and add role and features so click next and role based installation because the WDS is a role based installation so here is my server window 16 cm01 so click next and if you scroll down you will get the windows deployment services so i'm going to mark this and add required features that's going to install the remote administration tool for uh, windows deployment uh, services tool so good to go add features click next uh, leave the everything default so here you can see what we require to WD, uh, set up the WDS so click next and the uh, deployment server and transport server both click next and click on install button so by uh, doing this we uh, the installation will complete in less than one minute after the installation is done we need to go and configure the WDS role on this machine so wait for it the installation once the installation is finished we will uh, go on and uh, configure the WDS role so it's a lightweight uh, feature uh, role basically which is going to take less than uh, one minute to get the installation done so I'm just waiting for it so the installation is succeeded and I'm going to click on close and you can see the WDS role is green here so now I'm going to click on tools and Windows deployment services if the WDS server is not configured you will see a small yellow mark here it's saying Windows deployment uh, deployment services is not configured right click and configure it so I'm going to do it now so right click and configure server so this is a pre-request what we have to do so there was an active DNS server in your network we have the server has uh, NTFS file server partition so which have we have a C drive only on this machine which is basically in NTFS so we are good to go and we have Active Directory required Active Directory and um, standalone mode so good to go and we require a DHCP server this is because Windows deployment use the pre uh, PXE which is pre boot execution environment which rely on DHCP for IPing addresses so click next we have all the things so I'm going to do it in standalone server 
and configure the server is a it is in standalone operating uh, operating ind independently of Active Directory so click next um, the path where you want to put the remote installation folders so good to go and you can see this is saying the volume is stored operating system windows this volume so we are good so, but the best performance best uh, for the best performance and data reliability you can create a d drive and you can set up this remote installation folder in d drive so uh, this is the demo i'm good to go click on yes and here pxc server initial se uh, initial setting so which client you want to respond your wds server so i'm going to click here respond to all client computer known and unknown no, unknown so we are good and this is the additional security feature where the requ administrator required to administrators required to approve the request if something is coming to uh, coming to pixie server so i'm good to go with uh, not checking this because this is a lab environment if you want to sec uh, build a secure the pxc boot you can go ahead and you can allow the pending devices once you have a request so i'm going to click on next and you can see it's co copying the needed file and starting deployment services so we, we are good and i'm not going to add any uh, install ms server because i'm going to do these all tasks from inside the double uh, sscm itself so i'm going to uncheck click finish and now you can see we have a stall image nothing boot image nothing pending device uh, which we are talking about the pxc response policy and everything looks good here and if i go to properties now you can see the pxc response if you later on if you want to re change the setting you can come here and always change the setting and adds boot and we have a client ESCP all these options is there so we are good and click OK and now we can move to next step which is enable PXC support for client fund distribution point so I'm going to do this now to enable this I'm I have already logged into my SSM console I'm going to click on administration then distribution point and the distribution point if I go my server and pre properties you can see for now it's saying PXC is no no PXC is not enabled so I'm going to enable this so click here and enable PXC support for client and this is saying when you use PXC client computer use the following post to connect to the site system server so you need to make sure these ports are open so uh, he, uh, it's all, uh, all uh, like automatically going to create uh, allow rule for these port you, you you can see if if you use a windows firewall on this server configuration manager automatically configure rules to allow these ports so that's good click on yes and uh, now what I'm going to do I'm going to allow this distribution point to respond to incoming PXC requests enable in on computer support okay and if you want to set up any password you can set the password so during the PXC boot it's required a password so I don't want to set up the password if you want you can go ahead and set and the uh, user device uh, infinity role I'm going to here allow user device in automatic approval so good to go and click apply so now you can see the pixie boot is enabled and you need to make sure also one thing the boundary group is uh, added here which is uh, in a distribution point so we are good so click ok so pixie boot is now enabled and the next task we need to do configure DHCP scope option to support pixie boot so uh, if I go here on WDS properties you can in DHCP you can see we require a six port 60 and port 66 to configure to allow this uh, um, you know, pixie setup so I'm going on my DHCP server uh, Active Directory server I have a DHCP roller running on this machine so I'm going to open the DHCP management console and you can see in this server I have not yet any um, basically any scope so I'm going to create one scope new scope and I'm going to call it like SSCM lab enter I'm going to put my initial IP address which is starting I'm going to put 151 and the end IP I'm going to put 200 so it's uh, 50 IP uh, within this scope range so click next 
and next leave the default everything I'm just going to click next 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 and activate this scope finish so the scope option is configured now under the scope option you can see DNS uh, 6 and 5 is added so I'm going to click on configure option and under here I'm going to click on 66 which is a boot server host name so I'm going to put you can put the name of the server or either you can put the IP address so I'm going to just put the IP address for 192.168.0.205 so I'm going to put 192.168.0.205 click apply and you need, to, you need to put the boot file name so I'm going to copy the boot so here's the boot file name so I'm going to click on apply okay so these all three require uh, three steps which we need to perform to enable the pixie boot and install WDS role so in next video we are going to do the pixie boot and deploy operating system by using this P, uh, boot uh, pixie boot so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye